Hi, today I'm going to show you how to deploy a web app to the Ali Cloud. So imagine that you have a web application that is called a Staff Joy. So it's a very simple web application that serves as a, a workforce management web application. And the front end is written in React.js and the back end is written in Java by Spring Boot. Uh, and it's originally designed to be deployed onto the Kubernetes and the MySQL. So before we have sort of a one click deployment onto the cloud, right? So because we know that on the cloud, everything is cloud management, like the cloud managed Kubernetes services, like cloud management, MySQL. So before that, we need to create the relevant, the cloud resources as listed over here. Let me just show you one by one. So first of all, VPC, right? Across all the clouds we're using. Um, so let me just quickly show you. Uh, the VPC that I created on um, the Alica. Right, so basically, this is the VPC that I created. So basically, on the VPC, you have to define the regions, your IP allocations, etc. And then we're going to create a MySQL and the corresponding tables in the schema. So basically, it's already done. So basically, this is the RDS that I just created. Um, and uh, this is the uh, DMS, Database Management System. And on that, I created another two uh, DB. So one is called Staff Choice Company. The other one is Staff Choice Account. So basically, the schemas over here are exactly the same as the one that we use for on-prem. Right? So this is the uh, schema for uh, the account DB. And this is schema for the company DB. And then, um, now we're going to create a cloud managed Kubernetes clusters on the cloud. So it's uh, basically, if you're using AWS, it's uh, basically identical to the AWS EKS, right? So let me just show you. So basically, this is the uh, clusters that I've just created. Uh, so basically, it's uh, called Alibaba managed Kubernetes services, All right? So and with all the ready, they're going to have a one-click redeploy of the application to the cloud. So over here, let me just give you a preview of how the application looks. Uh, so basically, it's a staff job application. Uh, that is a just simple web app. I mean, for the workforce management, you can do a sign up. Uh, uh, everything is up and running. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to delete all the services I created earlier. So we're going to delete now. Uh, my session is timeout. Sorry. So yeah, if I were to delete them, Okay, so basically I delete all the microservices I created earlier. So from here, there's no way that you can access anymore, right? So nothing's working, right? So uh, it's just because that the, all the services are deleted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to redeploy the application from on-prem to the cloud. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the PowerShell. So uh, it's just a one click of it. So what we're gonna do is, okay. So we're going to apply uh, the YAML file that is inside the UAT folder and have one click of the button that you will see almost everything is here and the new IP address is being created. So let me just do a refresh again. Okay, so that's the new IP addresses. Uh, let me update it onto my host file. Okay, and it's up and running again, right? So it's just as simple it is. So we have to do it just one click of the button. Everything can be redeployed. Thank you very much.